Andrew Thomas starting outside of row three and sixth, it's the sobering auto electric 2T of Derek Pollock. Inside row four, the seventh starting spot has the six car there and driving that car is Nathan Clausen. To his outside is the car number three, starting eighth is Ethan Friesen. Inside row five, in the Westbrook Manufacturing 1K, it's Kevin Delane. And to his outside, starting 10th, that's outside on row five, the 13, Mike Wenham. He's a rookie in this class. Inside row number six, the 11th starting spot goes to a young lady named Jasmine Hickst in the 08 car. To Jasmine's outside, starting 12th, the 3D is John Friesen. Inside row seven, the 13th starting spot, one of our feature drivers, the 3T, is Trevor Rambau. And to Trevor's outside in the 14th starting spot outside of row seven is the 79 of Bill Messier. Inside row eight, that is the 37 of Roger Boisley. And outside of Roger, the number eight is starting 16th, that's Rod Wolf. Inside row nine, the 31, that is the uh, 31 of Pete Ends, and to his outside, the 44 is a rookie, that's Braden Henrote. On row 10, starting inside, starting 19th, the 16 of Evan Schroeder, and to Evans outside, the 21C is Cole Madinuk, and we're about ready to go racing. We got just enough time to tell you that Adventure Power Products has a huge selection of parts and accessories for your power sports and lawn and garden needs. They got tires, wheels, helmets, and a whole lot more. They also offer repair service on mo most makes and models of small engines. See Adventure Power Products in Ilda Shane for more. All right, lined up and ready to race on the AIE Bell scoreboard. You can see that 15 laps is the distance. Uh -huh. And we are ready to go green right now for Speedy Autoglass. Uh-oh, yellow flag, number 13, Mike Wenham. Mike's a rookie in this class. I don't know, is that smoke coming out of there? Or is it so cold out that's exhaust? Ah, you've got a flat, left rear flat. Oh, if you're on Mike Wenham's crew, snap to it. You got almost no time to change a left rear tire. And that affords us an opportunity to tell you that Piston Ring is your first stop for automotive parts. They are committed to its people of Manitoba and proud to support Red River Co-op Speedway. When traveling, visit any one of our locations in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario. Piston Ring, service is the difference. We get it. So did we get a, no we did not. Still 15 laps up on the AIE Bell scoreboard. Huh. Well, that's not good. Mack Truck Sales and Service. Mack Sales and Service of Manitoba, your local Mack distributor. Also offering all make parts and quality service. Mack Trucks, born ready. Hey, and big brothers and big sisters, there's a lot of good causes out there, but these are a couple of real good ones. Friendship. It's simple concept, but a powerful one, and one that's behind Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Winnipeg. Start something today at bigwinnipeg.com. And at Speedy Autoglass, they are the windshield experts. They use the highest quality products and the latest in repair technology, and that's why they can guarantee that all of their repairs are strong and durable. Visit speedyglass.ca to make an appointment today.
All right, I guess the 13, we can't expect them to change tires as fast as the guys do in NASCAR. But we could expect uh, something in, a, you know, a couple minutes. Not 14 seconds for four tires. Oh, here he comes. Mike Wenham fishtailing out of the pit area, having no regard for the pit speed limit. Here he comes. And we're going green for Speedy Autoglass. Oh, we get a yellow flag. What happened? Uh-oh. Someone just got their last chance on the, on the race receiver. I can, I can hear it through the wall from next door. So-and-so, this is your last chance. 44. This is your last chance. That's all I heard. Oh, oh, oh. someone's on the, uh, on the, uh, the what? A lot naughty list, yeah. Quite not isn't quite what I had in mind, but I knew what I was thinking wouldn't go over too big with the family crowd, so I, I searched for it. Thankfully, you presented it to me. 15 laps remain on the AIE Bell scoreboard. All right, we're going to try it again for Speedy Glass. I can't. Is that that black car on the front they're talking about? I can't see a number on it. Let's paint the car black and then paint the number black so nobody can see it. Oh, it is him. Got a red number. Good field of pure stocks today. Don't forget this weekend, the Prairie Classic right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Three wide on the back straightaway. Wow, this is a great class. Good close racing, and it's the least expensive eight-cylinder class we uh, we have here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Oh, boy, we got a spinner in turn two, but he keeps it going. Look at that. Does a 360 and hardly loses us. Well, uh-oh, someone else hit. Someone else hit the fence out of sympathy. Oh, he's going again, too. Great race for second place. Wow, that is a good one. That's the Mustang of Les McCray. Another guy in the rhubarb. A tire. Okay. And of course, it would be the one that isn't painted white, too, wouldn't it? Or is it white? A black tire. Well, if it was white, we probably could have left it there, but. Well, uh, the stigma attached to mental illness is so pervasive that people who suspect that they or someone they care about might be mentally ill are often unwilling to seek help. And they're often uh, reluctant to seek help for fear that what others may think. Well, that stigma sucks. Talk to someone. It's crazy not to. Visit imaginementalhealth.com for more information. Well, we go back and realign them. Don't forget that all the cars have transponders, so they click off on the laptop up here so we know where to put everybody, and uh, it takes a minute, though. They, what they want the drivers to do is get in one single line, and then they will move them to position. It's impossible if people are three wide and two wide, so they want everyone to get in a single line, and they go back to the last completed lap and tell them who to go in front of or behind or whatever the case may be. 
Hey, if you're ready for Winnipeg's cold season, well, at Speedy Glass, they can help you tackle your entire checklist. Windshield repair with the most advanced technology. Check new wipers. Check rain repellent treatment. Check. Make an appointment today. Speedyglass.ca. All right, I believe we got them lined up. We've got three laps done already. How about that? Huh? Only took eight and a half minutes. Well, we got 12 to go and six, on, six minutes and 20 seconds to do it in. We're going back to green for speedy glass. Here we go. The leader is the four. Oh boy, we got a couple guys heading west on us. Oh, but they're still moving. They're back on the track. We're good. This number 44. That's Rob Reese. Now, Darren, don't you think uh, on that lead car there that with the dark black paint and the dark red numbers, wouldn't white numbers look good on that? I think it would show up pretty good. I think so. What do we need to see him for? Ah. <laughs> In the old days, you couldn't get away with that because they right. lap counted by hand. So, Right, exactly. They tell you right now, don't tell me about us getting the laps wrong because we can't read your number. Oh, we got a bit of a mating session going on in turn two. Had three of them tangled up there, but once again, they get undone and we continue racing with nine to go. Forty four is looking good. Rob Reese out front, but Derek Pollock in that two T sponsored by sobering auto electric. He is closing in. He's running the high side and it looks like it's working for him. He looks to be closing on our leader Rob Reese in the forty four. in the 2T. I think that red four-door Chevy needs a wheel alignment. I'm not sure, but funny thing is it handled better after it broke. Derek Pollock continues to inch forward in the 2T and slowly closing in on our leader, but with four, what, five to go or six. He better make it happen pretty soon because he is running out of time. Coming up a turn two, you can see him close a little bit, but I'm not sure where the 44 is getting away on him. I think it might be going into the corners. 44 a little loose there, but the 2T of Derek Pollock. Oh boy. It looks at times like Pollock's going to get him, and then at a different point on the racetrack, it looks like uh, the 44 Rob Reese is going to hang on to the number one spot. Well, they're coming up on slower traffic here, so that will get interesting. Here comes a pass for the lead out of turn four. Not quite. Rob Reese continues to lead off the front row, but the 2T of Derek Pollock started sixth, and he is right there. Any little slip up on the part of the 44, and we will have a different leader here real quick. As they make their way into slower traffic, that could change the outcome. Let's see. When you're heading into lap traffic like this, it's always better to be second because the leader is a sitting duck and the second place car gets to see what he's doing right or wrong and adjust accordingly. Here he comes up alongside Derek Pollock trying to make the move on the back straightaway. They head into turn three and Pollock is right up beside your leader. They are door to door in turn four. The leader goes to the bottom. Derek Pollock stays on the high side and he is your leader by a fender at the moment. Two laps to go, and the 44 tangles up a little bit with a lap car, and that allows Derek Pollock to get through. When they were running on a clear racetrack, the 44 car looked like he had a pretty, pretty good handle on it, but 
as they get into lap traffic Derek Pollock's experience uh, really paid off and you can see how good that how much experience pays now Pollock is in lap traffic uh oh here comes a car back on the racetrack oh my goodness that was close our leader Derek Pollock sponsored by MacDon Industries and sobering auto electric and he comes out of turn four after starting sixth. there's your winner Derek Pollock second spot goes to first place starter Rob Reese third goes to the unofficially oh we got, oh someone spun over there but it doesn't matter anymore so Derek Pollock grabs the victory the 44 Rob Reese after starting first ran a real nice race but finishes second came up just a little bit short and Derek Pollock's racing experience showed through in the lap traffic they say when you're leading a race and coming into lap traffic it's the worst feeling in the world because the second place guy behind you gets to watch you pick your way through the traffic and of course he can wait for you to make a mistake and jump on that mistake and turn it into a lead well that's exactly what happened with Derek Pollock right here tonight and the number two car is your winner we'll get them across the scale and down front here he comes MacDon Industries Alfie's sobering auto electric number two and I think he's going to do a burnout well, let's see if he can get the back wheels turning there we go we got a smoke job yeah a little burnout let's take it whatever's left of those tires and make sure we roast them okay we're not doing the walk the track thing okay well probably because no one can see it it's so smoky down there But don't forget this fo this weekend, folks. The Prairie Classic. It starts Friday night at seven o'clock. We're going to have seven classes of cars Friday night. Eight Saturday afternoon at four. It's going to be a dandy. It's a two-day Prairie Classic with drivers expected from Ontario, Minnesota, North Dakota, Saskatchewan, and we're hoping Dave Smith is coming from Alberta. So it should be a great weekend. Hey, there's your winner. How about a big hand, Derek Pollock in the two T. Nicely done, Derek. Well, thanks very much, Pat Mooney. Derek Pollock picks up yet another win here in this division. The 2T sponsored by MacDon, Sobering Automotive Center, and Haydor Auto Center. Fantastic job, Derek. Pat Mooney was saying on those closing laps that sometimes when you get into lap cars, it's better to be second than it is to be first, and you proved it there. Great job using those lap cars. Pat was my teacher last weekend in uh, Sites Deal. We're sitting there talking for hours, right, Pat, and drinking cold ones. And uh, just like the old days, the Enduros, uh, my brother and I, Clay, used to run here and rule the house. And tonight, with all those cars and coming up, I'm just thinking, he's going to make his move, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick these lap traffic off like, like the old pro I am. So. It's, it's our first win this year. We're leading the points. Uh, we wanted more than this year. We're, we work a ton. Thanks to my crew, Mike, here tonight. I've pretty much been my, my own crew guy this year. I want to thank any volunteers that threw on a flat tire when they needed it. So I just want to thank my sponsors. MacDon's one of the longest sponsors, I think, out here. Uh, they've been with us 17 years. Uh, we have uh, Sobring, Alfie's Restaurant, Hainer Auto Center, uh, Payworks, Metro Center, Advance, Red Bull, Mr. Lou and Ron Durson at Remax. I want to thank all you guys for coming tonight. It was hot in the car and hope you guys are hot up there. How about it? Your winner tonight, Derek Pollock. Congratulations, winner on the 2T. And it looks like well, the concession's your sponsor. Great cheeseburger courtesy of Mark. You know, I'm trying to lose weight because this car weighs 3,800 pounds and I'm giving up a lot of weight and Mark ain't helping, but these double cheeses are great. <laughs> Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Back up to you, Pat. Thank you, Darren. Congratulations to Derek Pollock. A beautiful job in some heavy traffic out there. That's a great class. Well, everybody, we thank you for coming out and spending your evening with us. We hope to see you Friday and Saturday. Remember, Friday night we get started at uh, 7 o'clock. We have seven classes of races coming at you, and we've spoken with the drivers. We want it done lickety-split. There'll be no holdups. We'll be on top of things. And, of course, Saturday we start at 4 o'clock. It's the Prairie Classic. And it happens this weekend, Friday, Saturday. And don't forget your date on Friday night. One full price ticket at the admission box office down below there, and you get a second ticket for half price. It's date night. Go find a date. We'll see you Friday. Take care. We'll see you back.